Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video, I want to go over the new Unity UI. And this is the UI that came out in 4.6 and has been updated all the way to 5. Point whatever. I'm working in, uh, I think, 5.2 or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to get started, and I'm going to cut these videos up into pieces so that you guys can watch only what you're kind of curious about. So if you recall, I've done uh, Unity UI and the old legacy UI, which was uh, very coded based, where you had to write code for everything. So in this one, you actually don't have to write any code. It's uh, click and make and drag and drop and uh, so what you really want to do uh, whenever you're designing these out is uh, you want to think about anchors and all kinds of other stuff, and you want to think of them as game objects. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, with the very first part of just the various UI elements that we have. So uh, something we can do, we can right click over here and we go to UI and we can go over here and we can pick things like uh, canvas, panel, scroll view, any of these. Uh, canvas is usually how you start. It'll create an event system for you. We'll talk about the event system later. Uh, I believe you can also go do it up here so you can go to game object, UI, and then you can find all of those in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the canvas. I'm going to click on that. That's going to, instead of our scene view, it's going to make a big white outline box. And this thing is massive compared to everything else. And that's okay. Uh, whatever you see in here is going to be rendered via UI camera, and it's not going to be showing up in your main camera unless you want it to uh, for, <laughs> for any kind of three dimensional reasons. So you can see it created a canvas, and uh, like I said, it creates this event system along with it. So don't delete that, keep that in there. We're going to use that for a lot of stuff. So. Uh, canvas is basically our very top level part of the UI and this is a game object so you can come over here and you can save it as a prefab if you want and drag out that prefab whenever you want all that kind of stuff um, I just made that red I'm gonna create another one just because I don't like it to being red so uh, there's a few things that you uh, have inside of your UI options you have text which is basically just you know text you can type out stuff and it'll show up uh, this is dynamic, so you can change the text on the fly, and it'll change uh, it'll change at runtime. Uh, you have images, which uh, are just pictures. You show pictures up there. You do a raw image. I haven't messed with that yet. I'm sure I'll have a tutorial later uh, once I mess with that. Um, you have buttons. You click on a button. You have a toggle, which is basically uh, like a checkbox where you can turn it on, you can turn it off, just like these guys. These guys are called toggles. Uh, you have a slider. You can click and drag. There's a little th what's called a thumb. Uh, you grab that thing and you drag it back and forth. It's good for like volumes or anything like that, or lighting. Uh, you have a scroll bar, which we all have seen in our web browser. It's that thing on the side or on the bottom that goes up and down. You can click and drag it in order to move other things. Uh, you have a drop down. That's exactly what it sounds like. You click and it drops down with options. Uh, you have an input field. You, know, you can click in the input field. You can type text. You can limit the input field to all kinds of stuff. We'll talk about that. Canvas, we told you, or I told you, it's just this uh, white bounding box that we have here. We have a panel. Uh, I like to use the panels for grouping things together. It can have background images and various other things. Uh, so this panel, you can just drop in. You can drop in a uh, child element to this panel. It's good for grouping. Uh, you have a scroll view. This is something where, let's say, we have a bunch of items. Instead of an inventory, we want to show all of them. Uh, then all of them will populate, and you can have them uh, in a scrollable list where you can scroll them. And then, of course, the event system, which we talked about, uh, pops up up here. So uh, I'm going to create a quick button. So let's get used to that really quick. Uh, so we go UI, we got a button. Look, here's a button, fancy. Now you'll notice that these UI elements come with other things inside of them. Notice that this button is basically uh, it's basically like a panel with some special behaviors, and then. Uh, it has a text as a child object, which is uh, the text for our button here. So uh, I can change this text to say click me, good old classic click me. Um, you can also uh, work with anchors, and we'll do that uh, in uh, a different video on how anchors work. Those are super useful. So now we have a button. It says click me. I can come over here, I can press play. It won't do much, but you know, I can, I can press play, it takes forever. Uh, click me, you'll see that it sits here and cl it clicks. So uh, that's basically the, the overall setup. In the next videos, we'll get into, I want to get into anchors because they're so cool. So uh, we'll get into anchors in the next one. This is just a higher view of what the UI is and how you can get started with it. So uh, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.